हरि ओम एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक इट्स टेन ओ क्लॉक लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओ गणपति हवामहे कविंकवीनापमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पतान शुण्वन्नूति सीदसाधन प्रणो देवी सरस्वती वाजेर्वाजिनीवती धीनाम विवत गणेशाय नम ओं सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं शुक्लांबरदर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यात सर्विघ्नोपात वागीशाद्यासुमन सह सर्वाताक्रमे यम नृतकृत्यु तम नमा गजानन वक्रतुंड महाकाय कोटिसूर्य सभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देशु सर्वद सरस्वती नमस्तुव्यम वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभ क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा ओं सहना सहनौ भुनक् सह वीकवाहै तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओं शाति शांति शांति सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ब्रह्मानंद परम सुखद केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्वस्यादिलक्ष्यम एक विमलमचल सर्वदी साक्षिभूत भावातीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गु तम नमा सद्गु तम नमा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक शंक शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिद विभागिने व्योमत्तदेहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम समस्तजनकल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्म देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर यधिमात्रेण सर्वे शिष्या सेवका कर्म क्षेत्र प्रवर्तंते चिन्म तम नमाम्यहम चिन्म तम नमाम्यहम लेट अस डू दि प्रात स्मरण प्रात स्मरा हृदय संस्फुदात्मतत्व 
सच्चिसुखम परमहम स गति तुरीय यत्न जागर सुषुप्तमी नित्यम तद्रह्म निष्कमहम न भूत संघ प्रातर्भजा मनसा वचसा मगम्य वाचो विभाति निखिला यदनुग्रहेण यन्नेति नेति वचनैर्निगम वोचु तम देव देव मजमच्युतमाहुरग्यम प्रातर्नमा तमज परमर्कवर्ण पूर्ण सनातन पदम पुषोत्तमाख्यम यस्द जगदशेषमशेषमूर्त रज्वांबुजंगम इव प्रतिभासी वै रज्वांबुजंगम इव प्रतिभासी वै हरिओम एव्रीबाडी वेलकम बैक टू अवर वेदांत क्लासेस since this is our uh, concluding session i would like to do a very quick recap let us chant the first verse from the text sadhana panchakam vedo nitya madhiyatam taduditam karmasvanushtiyatam तेनेशस्य विधीयताम अपचिति काम्ये मतिस्त्यजता पापौ घूयतासुखे दोषोनुसंधीयता आत्मेच्छा व्यवसीयता निज गृहा तूर्णम विनिर्गम्यता वेदो नित्यम अधीयता डेली स्टडी अवर् स्क्रिप्चर्स स्टडी दि अध्यात्म ग्रंथ टू अंडर्स्टैंड अवर् गोल इन लाइफ तदुदित कर्मसु अनुष्ठीयता देन वी पर्फॉम अवर् नित्य नैमित्तिक कर्म विथ समर्पण भाव in the spirit of offering it helps to purify our mind tene shasya vidiyatam apachiti hi then we learnt how to dedicate our actions to the lord turning karma to karma yoga with arpita buddhi dasya buddhi accepting the results as they come as it is prasada काम्ये मतिस्त्यजता गिविंग अप डिजायर प्राप्टेड एक्शन वी नीड टू गिव अप द थॉट ऑफ वॉट इज इन इट फॉर मी पापो घूयता वाश अवे द सिंस इन अवर हार्ट वी कैन मिनिमाइज और न्यूट्रलाइज बाय शांति कर्म दान जप एक्सेट्रा भवसुखे दोषोनुसंधीयता बै नाउ द मैंड इज मेच्यूर ए लिटल बिट मेच्यूर स्पिरीचुअली इट एस क्वैट एंड बिट वी टर्न फ्रम आचार टू विचार थिंकिंग भगवान इज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग अस् टू सी द डिफेक्ट्स इन दट भवसुख दोष दृष्टि और टू डेवलप प्रतिपक्ष भावना आत्मे व्यवसीयता आई वॉन्ट टू नो दट आत्मा देन द डिजायर दट ऑल दीज इयर्स आई हैव सेटल डाउन फॉर दिस मोमेंटरी सुख हैप्पीनेस नॉट एनी मोर एंड द क्वेस्ट बिगिन्स ही बिगिन्स हिज जर्नी इनवर्ड निज गृहा तूर्णम विनिर्गम्यता escaping from the bondages of one's home loses that sense of abhimana 
attachment. He becomes a full-time sadhaka and he is aligned with the Vedic thinking at this point. Then the second verse. Sangasat suvidhiyatam bhagavato bhaktir drudhadhiyatam shantyadif parichiyatam drudhataram karmachu santyajyatam sadvidvanupasrupyatam pratidinam tatpaduka sevyatam Brahmai Kakshara Martyatam Shruti Shiror Vakyam Samakarnyatam Sangaha Satsu Vidhiyatam Seeking the companionship of the men of wisdom. We saw that in Bajagovindam how the ladder of success Satsanga can lead all the way to Jeevan Mukti. With Satsanga the false values are removed. It's a lifestyle change. With that right attitude to life is developed. The mind is reinforced with noble values. It will help the sadhaka to stay motivated on this path. Helps to derive inspiration from these noble people. Bhagavato Bhaktir Drudha Dhiyatam. We need to be firmly established in that firm devotion to the Lord. We saw in that instruction different forms of bhakti. Nava Vidha Bhakti from Bhagavat Purana. Saguna Sakara Bhakti, glowing, glorifying the form and attributes of the Lord, slowly leading us to Nirguna Nirakara Bhakti. That firm Drudha Bhakti, that I am taking shelter in the Lord. We need to develop that Ashraya Buddhi, that God will take care of me. For that kind of a Mumukshu, Bhagavan has promised that I will give him Atma Jnana. How? Jnana Deepena Bhaswata. By lighting that lamp of knowledge. Shantyade Parichi Yatam. Now the individual sadhana begins. We need to cultivate the virtues such as Shanti and Danti. The six disciplines. Sama, uh, Shama Adi Shatka Sampatti, Shama Dhamma Uparati Titiksha Shraddha Samadhana. It helps the seeker to slowly turn inward in a disciplined way. Drudataram Karma Shusantyajatam. Recuse yourself from karmas. Even if it is not total karma sannyasa, we said we need to take a deep look at our engagements. Day to day and on a weekly basis, identify how we can disengage from unnecessary desire prompted wasteful actions. Sadvidvan upasrupyatam Sadaka now approaches the Guru. This phase of the sadhaka's life is called as Guru Upasati or Guru Upasadana. In order to learn Atma Vidya, he approaches that Shrotriya Brahmanishta Guru with Samitpani, sacrificial firewood, symbolically representing that Seva Bhava of the student. Pratidinam tatpadukam tatpaduka sevyatam. Say, doing the seva of the Guru, Guru Paduka seva. Guru Paduka, as I told you, represent the platform that he stands on, the feet representing that he is firmly rooted in this knowledge. Brahmai kakshara martyatam. He begins to learn. Atma Vidya from the Guru. 
we also learnt that this brahmaiva ekam aksharam artyatam that omkara that pranava mantra he learns to meditate on that akshara brahma shruti shiror vakyam samakarnyatam shruti shira the head of the shruti is the vedanta shastra shiro vakya is that vedanta vakya those upanishad vakyas we learned that there are many upanishad vakyas because of that jiva bhava a sense of limitedness a sense of finitude parichinnatva i have two problems anatmani atma buddhi it is the notion that this anatma is atma stay with me jagati satyatva buddhi the world and its objects are real and permanent so with the identification of anatma i have become the doer kartru i have become the enjoyer bhoktru and i have gotten slowly sucked into samsara because of that i have settled down all these years for this momentary happiness outside and through the guru the sadhaka is now doing mahavakya shravanam guru says you are not that limited being that is not you pragnanam brahma you are that same consciousness that is everywhere all pervading the essence of vedanta is found in these great declarations or mahavakyas we saw the story through that vichara mahavakya vichara the student how he assimilates that jiva brahma aikya the oneness of jiva and brahma that consciousness is everywhere in all being sarvam kalvidam brahma that shir, that is shiro vakyam samakarnyatam that is vedanta vakya shravanam because that shravanam will remove the agnana agnana avarana nivrutti vakyarthascha vicharyatam third verse shruti shira paksha samashriyatam दुस्तर्कात्सुविरम्यता वाक्यार्थस्य विचार्यताम भगवान इज नाउ आस्किंग द साधक टू डू मननम ऑन द महावाक्यस महावाक्य विचार रिफ्लेक्टिंग ऑन दीस डिक्लेरेशंस व्हाट इज द डायरेक्ट मीनिंग ऑफ दीस स्टेटमेंट्स व्हाट इज द वाच्यार्थ व्हाट इज द लक्ष्यार्थ व्हाट इज द इंप्लाइड मीनिंग ऑफ दीस स्टेटमेंट्स तत्पद विचार त्वम पद विचार asi pada vichara how do i assimilate the differences between jiva and ishvara to arrive at that oneness that proper mananam will remove that samshaya doubts and nididhyasanam will remove those erroneous notions viparita bhavana shruti shira पक्ष समाश्रीयता नौ हैविंग अंडरस्टुड द मीनिंग ऑफ द महावाक्य साधक शुड टेक द आश्रय दट ही नीड्स टू टेक द रैशनेल एज आउटलाइंड इन द वेदांत शास्त्र नॉट टू फॉल प्रे टू दिस फेलेशियस आर्ग्युमेंट दुस्तर्कात सुविरम्यताम एस्टूडेंट्स ऑफ वेदांत वी नीड टू अवॉइड 
using fallacious logic dustarka kutarka vittandavada arguing for the sake of argument shruti mata starko nu sandhiyatam to think logically with the support of the shastras that is shruti mata starko nu sandhiyatam shruti paksha samashriyatam because atindriya vishaye vedah pramanam that pramana buddhi we need to have that shraddha in the scriptures and the guru vakya we have discussed a lot of them sharira traya viveka atmanatma viveka panchakosha viveka drug drushya viveka all pointing us in the direction of that atma vastu brahma smriti vibhavyatam this is gnana abhyasa nirantara abhyasa constant abidance how can i be in that awareness aham asamsari atma naham dehosmi that total abidance not wavering here and there ahar ahar garva parityajyatam we need to renounce that false pride that ego is not my amigo i have to let it go we saw the reference from bajagovindam ma kuru garvam dhana jana yavana people possessions and youthfulness because sarvam nimesha tharati in a moment all can be gone dehe aham mati rujyatam slowly we need to get rid of the i notion that i am this body but this body is meant to serve everybody paropakarartham idam shariram not self preservation buddha janair vadav parityajyatam a very important advice not to engage in foolish argument with wise people compassionate people they themselves are not gain anything by teaching us we should not engage in any meaningless arguments with them with that we will go to the verse number 4 kshudvyadischa शुद्व्यादिश्चिकित्स्यता प्रतिदिन भिषौषम भुज्यता स्वाद्वन्न न तो याच्यता विधिवशा प्राप्त न सन्ुष्यता शीतोष्णादिषह्यता न तो वृथा वाक्यम सुच्छार्यता औदासीन्यमीप्स्यता जनकृपा नैष्टुर्यमुत्सृज्यता क्षुद्व्यादिश्चिकित्स्यता मोस्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ वी स्पेंड ऑन टू थिंग्स क्षुद पिपास हंगर एंड थर्स्ट and bhagwan shankaracharya ji called the called the pangs of hunger as a chronic disease with any disease we are not at ease so we take the medicine to cure a disease this is also an incurable disease so we just do the disease management we saw last week that hunger is not an occasion to enjoy food in our tradition we just say brahmarpanam brahmahavihi 
we say that prayer of grace and think about the Lord even before eating. Meaning at the time of enjoyment also we think of the Lord. Treat this food as not as bhoga but as a treatment to this roga. Pratidinam bhikshaushadam bhujyatam we need to take care of the pangs of hunger, that roga through bhikshaushada, the medicine of the bhiksha food. Although this advice is mainly for the sannyasi who is supposed to eat food gathered mainly from five houses. We also discussed for the householder like us or gruhastas. What do we do? Whatever comes to our table unasked as his prasada. The idea here is not to engage in elaborate planning of what to eat, where to eat, when to eat and all that. The idea is to get away from the thought of food and about food to food for thought. Swadvanam natu yachyatam. The earlier idea is again re-emphasized here. Meaning not to beg for enjoyment. They say jite rasanam jite sarvam. If we win over the power of the tongue, jifva chapalya, we have, that is 50% of the battle, 80% of the battle. Vidhi vashat. Praptena santushyatam Without any expectation. Be content with what comes unasked. Shitoshnadi vishahyatam Endurance. Enduring the pairs of opposites. Not by lamenting about it, but quietly enduring it. What we cannot cure, we have to endure. Because this whole world is full of opposites. Sarvam dvandvatmakam jagat. Shita, ushna, mana, apamana. Sometimes sukha, pleasant and conducive situation. Sometimes dukkha, unpleasant, non-conducive situation. That is Shitoshna de Vishahyatam Dvandva Sahishnuta Samatvam Yoga Vuchate from Bhagavad Gita Natu Vrutha Vakyam Samuchar Yatam We need to avoid wasteful talk. Most of the time when we meet, in addition to solving world problems, what do we do? Engage in gossip. This is the advice be, to be efficient. Sadaka should avoid dissipation of energy through wasteful, meaningless conversations. Shri Krishna, Bhagavan Shri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita in 17 chapter says, Vangmaya Tapas. Audasinyam Abhipsyatam. Last week we discussed there are a million things happening around us. We live in this world of 24 7 cable news. Here Bhagavan Shankaracharya ji is saying be indifferent to the worldly affairs. Udasina, meaning rising above. Jana Krupa Naishturbya Mutsrujyatam. We need to save ourselves from people's obligations. We reference the Chinmaya Mission pledge producing more than you consume and giving more than you take. And Jana Krupa Naishturyatam. Naishturya. That obligation. We need to get ourselves not entangled in people's obligation. Our Pooja Gurudev used to say, make the world indebted to you 
rather than you be indebted to the world. So we had covered up till there and today we will cover the fifth and final verse Ekante Sukhamasyatam Paratare Chetas Samadhiyatam Purdnatma Susamikshyatam Jagadidam Tadbhaditam Drushyatam Prakarma Pravilapyatam Chitibalat Naputaraish Lishyatam Prarabdham Twihabujyatam Atha Parabrahmatmanastiyatam Ekante Sukamasyatam Ekanta The Sanskrit term for solitude is called Ekanta. Eka means one. Anta means here the end goal. That point of attention. That mind is firmly established in that Parabrahma. In that deep contemplation. The solitude does not mean physical loneliness. Like Bhagavan Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad Gita suggests Mai Chananya Yoghena Bhakti Ravya Bicharini Vivikta Desha Sevitvam Marati Jana Samsadi. See, obviously, we cannot do meditation in a crowded place. Best advice is to choose a corner in our own home, a private room. Our Puja Guruji, Swami Tejo Mayananji, always jokes about this. If you are on the spiritual path, the other family members will put you in the corner anyway. So even if we choose a private place, but if the mind is crowded with unwanted thoughts, it is of no use. So that mauna, that quietitude, both at the physical mental and emotional level with a focus on the end goal. Paratare Chetas Samadhiyatam Then you place that quiet and alert mind in that Supreme Lord. Gather that wandering mind that is going hither and thither. Steadily rest the mind in that contemplation. See, when we have to go for a long drive, what do we do for the car? We do a multi-point inspection to make sure that the car is roadworthy. Or in aircraft, we say, it is airworthy. Same way we have to check our mind. Whether is it meditation worthy? Because meditation is not a fashion statement. It's not a style. It's a lifestyle. Practice of meditation has two aspects. One, we need to withdraw the mind's attention from external focused objects and then turn the mind towards the subject, pure consciousness. 
So what is this meditation? Our Puja Guruji, Swami Tejo Mayananji, has defined this in Dhyana Swarupam, a text. Dhyanam Nama Swarupasya Sahajam Bhana Muchyate. Meditation is that effortless abidance in one's own true nature. It is not a special action. It is not a practice of posture. It is not a form of worship. It is not a repetition of a mantra or even a concentration exercise. Because we have to withdraw our mind and Bhagavan suggests a solitary place. Ekanta. Ekaki atachittatma. That solitude. Because this is not a group exercise. It is not done with your partner. You spend that time alone. Ekanta. With a good asana, a firm seat, if you cannot sit on the ground, stiram sukam asanam, sitting in a posture in which the head, the neck and the back are all in one straight line. Then Bhagavan Krishna in the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita tells us, shanai, shanai ruparamer. Buddhya Druti Gruhitaya Atma Samstham Manakrutva Nakinchida Pichintaye. Twenty-fifth verse. Slowly, slowly, with that firm mind, strengthened with that viveka, alert and quietened mind, withdrawn from the external distractions, slowly abides in the Self. Purnatma susamikshyatam Next instruction. Realize that Self which is all-pervading. Purnatma, that all-pervading consciousness. See, once the destruction of the Aham Bhava, Dehatma Bhava is gone, Paripurnoham Bhava. In the language of Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Bhutastamatmanam, Sarva Bhutani Chatmani, Ikshate Yoga Yuktatma, Sarvat. This is the journey from Mamata to Samata to Purnata. This is Purnatva. Sadaka begins to realize the divinity in me is the divinity in all beings. Sarvatra Samadarshanaha. He sees that self in me is the self everywhere. In that language of the Isha Vasya Upanishad, Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atmaiva Bhutvijanataha Tatra Komoha Kashokaha Ekatva Manupashyataha For that Gnani, who sees that oneness everywhere, ekatvam anupashyataha. For him, there is no shoka, there is no grief, there is no moha, there is no delusion. Like our Rishi say, that man of realization sees and recognizes that self in all the names and forms, all of Nama Rupa. Instruction number 36, Jagaditam Tadbaditam Drushyatam. Lot of people misunderstand this instruction. For a realized man, we must know 
that the world does not disappear. Baditam does not mean the world will vanish. His drushti changes from adhyatmika drushti, from the jnana drushti. He sees the world in that light of knowledge that it is Brahma Mayam. Like that song, Brahma Mokate, Sarvam Brahma Mokate. Just like that rope and the snake example, the illusory appearance of the snake on that rope has disappeared. Only that rope is there in that knowledge, in the light of that knowledge. The ghost that seemingly appeared on the post, that disappears. This means that it has become clear to him at this stage that this world that appears to be real has no independent existence. It is Brahma Ashrita, Sarvam Brahma Mayam. Kritva Gnana Mayim Drushtim Pashyet Brahma Mayam Jagat. He sees the world in that light of knowledge. He sees only Brahman. Just like the goldsmith, when we take all the ornamentation, he sees nothing but gold in those ornaments. Then the next three instructions are related to karma. Prakarma pravilapyatam Chitibala napyuttaraish lishyatam Prarabdam dvihabujyatam Before I explain these three instructions, we have gone through this before during our study of Tattva Bodha. The results or the fruits of our actions can be classified into three categories. Sanchita Karma, number one. The term denotes Sanchita means collection. Karma or the fruits or the results of our actions these are the collection of the results of our past actions. Not just from our previous birth, from numerous births. Then we have Prarabdha Karma. Most of us know that. Prarabdha means Prakarshena Arabdham. That which has begun. Meaning the results of the actions that, are, that have fructified. Meaning from the Sanchita Karma, the fruits of actions that have fructified or matured. Whatever is our current birth, the current body that we have gotten, the individual experiences, of our Sukha, Dukkha, Mana, Apamana are all expressions of this Prarabdha Karma. Now the third type of Karma is Agami Karma, meaning that which is coming in the future. Now back to the instruction. Prak Karma Pravilapyatam what happens to that Sanchita Karma for a Brahma Gnani? The Sanchita Karma is nullified. It is put to zero the moment Sadhaka realizes. We are talking in reference to a Jeevan Mukta Purusha. Our Puja Gurudev used to give the example of a prisoner when he dies in prison, how the case is closed? 
no more prosecution no more punishment in the same way the moment the self knowledge stay uh, dawns the results of the punya karma the papa karma all that account is closed ब्रह्मादिगमे सति संचित कर्मणाम क्षय इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ भगवद्गीता ज्ञानाग्नि दग्ध कर्माणी द संचित कर्मस गेट बर्ंट इन दट फायर ऑफ नॉलेज चिति बला नाप्युतर श्लिष्यता आगामी कर्म विद स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दट आत्म ज्ञान ज्ञानी कर्म आर ऑल फॉर वॉट लोक संग्रह वेलफेयर ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी His speciality is nishkama karma. All his actions are God-centric, not ego-centric, not desire-prompted actions. So, the karma pala cannot touch him because he has no kartritva. He has no bhoktritva. He is not doing with a sense of doership that I am doing it. See, I have also seen references at this phase for a Jeevan Mukta Purusha, like an uprooted tree, where the roots cannot take him down into samsara. He does not do any karma for his own benefit. Prarabdham tviha budjatam. The prarabdha karma. is like an arrow that has left the quiver so the prarabdha karma which is for the body will give results it does not care whether you are a gnani or an agnani they are unaffected the gnani is unaffected by them because he has that firm knowledge that the effects of the prarabdha or for the body and he is beyond that bhagwan shankaracharya ji in viveka chudamani gives a very beautiful reference vyagra buddhya vinirmuktah bana paschat gomatau natishtati the arrow that was shot assuming that it was a tiger just because we see it does not stop just because the object turns out to be a cow stay with me it does not say holy cow and does not return to the quiver same way prarabdham bhogena nashyati it is exhausted only by experiencing them i hope you understood the difference in all the three varieties then comes the final instruction atha para brahmatmana stiyatam at this phase he has reached home which is om he has reached the destination his true home with gps not global positioning system but with guru parampara and shastra this is atma samstiti hi the bandha has become the buddha manava has become the madhava 
in the language of Bajagovindam, Yogaratova, Bhogaratova, Sangaratova, Sangavihinah, Yasya Brahmani Ramate Chittam, Nandati Nandati Nandatyeva. Ramate Brahmani, reveling in Brahman, Nandati Nandati Nandatyeva. He delights, he enjoys, he is reveling in that absolute state of fulfillment. In the language of the Upanishads, Tad Vishnu Paramam Padam Yadgatvana Nivartante Taddama Paramam Mama Brahma Vida Apnoti Param Brahma Vit Brahmaiva Bhavati the knower of Brahman becomes Brahman. Atma Kridaha, Atmarati, Atma Kriyavan, Mundaka Upanishad. Atmani, Atmana Santushtaha, Bhagavad Gita. He has got this one job at this phase enjoy the bliss. Now, for such a jnani, kulam pavitram janani krutartha vasundhara punyavati chatena aparasam vit sukasagare smin leenam pare Brahmani Yasya Chetaha His whole lineage is blessed. Mundaka Upanishad says when that self is realized Bhidyate Hrudaya Grantihi Chidyante Sarvasamshayaha Kshiyante Chasya Karmani Tasmin drushte paravare. The knot in the heart is cut asunder. All doubts, all samshayas are destroyed. No more avidya, kama, karma. Iti paramahamsa parivrajaka acharya, srimat shankara acharya virachita, sadhana panchakam sampurnam. With the grace and blessings of our entire Guru Parampara, we were able to study the Sadhana Panchakam, Sopana Panchakam, Upadesha Panchakam, a text of beautiful instructions by Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharyaji. I want to thank all of you who attended this lecture series diligently every week. And especially thank those who have encouraged me online with some wonderful, inspiring comments. Let me conclude this session with this wonderful Palastuti. Yashloka Panchakamidam Patate Manushyaha Sanchintayat Yanudinam stiratam upetya Tasya shusam sruti davana lati braghora tapaha Prashantim upayati chiti prasadat. The sadhaka who has studied this sadhana panchakam, these five shlokas, who does the parayana every day who has understood and assimilated the meanings outlined in these five shlokas, he is clear from samsara. He is... He will become a Jeevan Mukta Purusha. With that, 